Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 44 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. And off screen, I actually went back and got the gold medal and moon base, which proved to be a bit more of a challenge than I expected. So I actually made a sort of optional, more walkthrough ish video that I'll link to on the screen right now. It'll also be linked in the description. So if you're having trouble with the gold medal like I was, then go ahead and watch that, and it might help you out, who knows. Anyways, now on to the actual game, um, so that was actually the last level in Patchland, as far as I can tell. is that right? Uh, hold, let me check that, can I, dude, why can't I do that? There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks like it. So, all we have ne left to do now is, uh, hop over into Dreamland for the first time. Man, I, I have no idea what to even expect here. I know that the first level is called, like, Wispy Woods or Wispy's Forest, yeah. But I've, I really have, like, is it still going to be yarn-based? Which would be kind of weird, because we're technically, I don't know, I guess Yin Yarn is supposed to have, like, converted the whole place to yarn, so it would make sense. And it looks like that is exactly the case. And we got some classic Kirby tunes going on. Oh man, I love this music. <laughs> I can't help but think of the Brental Flaw song when I do, when I hear it, though. And that makes me think it's, like, really morbid all of a sudden. Alright, can I hit that, like, bomb block? I don't want to, like, pound into it, because that would probably destroy me, as well as these, uh, blocks. There we go. What? This is something new. Uh, oh, well, maybe not. I recall seeing something similar to that at least before. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, it's a spring! That's fun. Alright, are we all of a sudden gonna get introduced into, like, a million new mechanics now, now that, now that we're in Dreamland? Huh. I love this remix of this music. Like, I loved this music to begin with, and now it's just, like, blowing me away. With its- it, it even sounds like it's made of yarn. I don't know how to describe that, but they made- they did a good job of fitting the yarn-ness of it. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Uh... Well, that didn't work. I wanna hit that, cause I- or do I wanna hit that? I probably don't, cause it looks like there's just a spike bed down there. And why would I want to hit that now? That is a good question. I probably do want to hit this, though. <laughs> I love those bomb blocks. I remember them from, like, the first Kirby game, the little bit I played of that game. And I just... Oh, I love them so much. Alright, what am I going to do here? Well, I guess that. But I'm going to need something to, uh... Also, take th take up there with me, so... You come over here, Mr. Waddle And I can just pull down the tree. That's hilarious. You can just pull down the tree and it just springs back to life. That's the most hilarious thing. Oh, no! <laughs> Nice landing. On the one pixel you could have landed on the screen that would cause damage, and you happen to land on it. That's just the greatest thing, you know? Because, you know, that's what I aspire to do every day of my life. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> now we're playing Donkey Kong Country all of a sudden. Wow! That was a lot more powerful than I anticipated, that cannon blast. Ooh, Wispy Woods. Someone has carved the face of Wispy Woods onto this large tree. <laughs> well, it's not that large of a tree. It's a little bit bigger than Kirby himself. A little bit. Yeah, that is a powerful cannon blast. I, I didn't expect that to come from such a puffy game, but I guess. Whatever floats your boat. Boing. God, I love those. A bouncing Gordo. That's weird. Is this a boss? It's Wispy Woods, so it should be. Oh man, what did I just do? Wait, I need to get up there, I think. Wait. Yes, I sweet. <laughs> I saw what I had to do last second there, the second before he actually went back up. That's crazy. Oh my god! Man, I just fell to the pit of the earth or something. Uh, the pit of the earth is a lot more blue than I thought it would be. But whatever. Alright. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize there was a spring here. I was like, I was about to say, like, how do I get these beads? But, lo and behold. Man, this seems, t this seems almost too easy for the final world. Like, I guess it's supposed to be Wispy Woods, and that is characteristically a very easy level. Do I want to pound that? I think I do. Oh, that actually- that doesn't cause me damage, what do you know? Oh, sweet. Of course they would make you shoot straight up there. Instead of like off to- like up and to the right, that would have been- That would have thrown me for a loop. Alright, now I gotta watch out for this guy. Just time your jumps correctly. Man, this really does feel like Donkey Kong Country all of a sudden, and sort of Super Mario too. What? No, give me back my stars. Oh, shoot. Okay, he himself doesn't hurt me if I touch him, so that's good. But 
still gonna be wary of his little cannon shots because I don't have the tank to defend myself this time. I was about to bounce up into that thing really stupidly. That would've been so stupid. I actually almost landed on those spikes too. I'm surprised I didn't, to be honest. I didn't even see them there until it was until I was like standing on the same platform as them. All right, the apple table. <laughs> it looks like a pig nose on it. This table has a nice apple scent. Beware if you're allergic. I'm not actually allergic to anything. Are you guys allergic to anything? Well, probably. There's allergies are one of the most common things. But if I am allergic to something, I don't. I have not found it within my lifetime yet, and I hope I never do. Of course, it's, if if it was something common, then I probably would have run into it by now. You think? So even if I am allergic to something, I probably won't run across it very much in my life, if at all. Like if I'm allergic to brats, dolls, or something. Like, what does that even matter? Alright, oh my- who- what? <laughs> no, get- oh my god, get away! That's scary. Can I, like, pound him? Oh, I can, but it doesn't- oh. <laughs> okay, that was- that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It kind of reminded me of a Kami for a second, actually. Don't know what it was. Alright, uh, I guess I'll just smash you like that. You smash his face with an iron! Or a spike. Man, I love that transition part right there, where it goes like, do 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 and I'm sucking the big one here. Can I get back up there for my stars? Before it's too late, I did. I got all of them, I think. Cool. This level feels a lot longer than the standard levels of Patchland, so... Maybe that's what's gonna go on with Dreamland here. It's just gonna take forever. <laughs> take, like, two videos for one level. Wouldn't that be something else? That would be a horse of another color right there. Where is this going to take me? I love these magical warp doors. They're so fun. And with all, it's just so it looks like so messy with that star like spewing out other stars along the frame of the door. But it's, it's like it's a pattern, but it's it's like a messy pattern. I don't know how to describe that really. Cuz patterns by definition are not messy, but whatever. That's just my that's just the way my mind works sometimes, I don't know. I see things that other people tends to not see as much. Which makes for a good Let's Play characteristic. No, not really, because then people have no freaking clue what you're talking about half the time. I haven't actually gotten many comments like that where people are like, What are you talking about there, you nut job? I've gotten a few like that, but they must have been jokingly, I think. Alright, <laughs> I hit him in the butt. Oh god, what is this guy's deal? He's got like a headband, it's so weird. Can I smash you? There we go. He doesn't even drop any beads. So I don't even know why I bother killing him. God, I wish I, I wish I could like ad lib to this song, ad lyric, whatever. I think I still have one more treasure to find, don't I? It should be the music disc for this area, which I definitely want because I love this music, man. All right, what's the, where's this gonna take me? Oh, geez, I didn't mean to bounce out of there. Oh wait, no, get back in there. Oh, before they disappear. Oh man. The trampolines absolutely just kill your traction, so that's why I couldn't get there in time, sadly. Oh well. I doubt I even needed those few beads that were there. Jeez, what is this? Uh, It's not Ludwig's castle, is it? Is it Wendy's castle? Mario World? With those, like, spikes that come out of the ground really fast, and it's really scary. Where is this gonna take me? Just across the way, that's fine. This really is like an original Kirby level, how it like transitions between the outer world and these little cavern areas. It's pretty awesome. And it's like a one-way ascent here, almost. Um, I'm gonna throw this out of the way so I don't flub this up. Probably wanna go this way first, actually. Just get this out of here. Can I climb back down the ladder? Yeah. Alright, you get down here too, so I can do this. And go over here and just get the best of both worlds. Boo, yeah. Not like I needed that. I already had gold, but I have gold and 120,000 beads. How am I going to do this now? Um, well, I guess I could just jump up here. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Alright. Man, this place is so weird. It feels like I'm climbing a pseudo version of the Great Deku Tree. Um, okay. What exactly am I supposed to be accomplishing here? I'm not entirely sure. I guess I don't want to get down to this door, because it probably leads me to something fascinating, an otherworldly experience, if you will. God, I'm already up to ten minutes. This is, I'm, I might, this one level might exceed the actual, oh, hey, look at this. Oh, I see. 
Got a little bit of barrel puzzle here. Hopefully I won't have an emulator glitch that kills me. Wait, how am I going to do this? Do I shoot up from here, maybe? Yeah. Now I can shoot over to the left and down. Well, I kind of want those beads, but I guess I can just work my way back around. The treasure is the most important right now. Green greens. Nice. This costume was in Kirby's Dreamland. Now you can hear it in Wispy Forest. I actually never knew the official name of that song, so that's cool to know it now. I'm going to wait for this guy to be in my line of sight and do that. It's hard to tell which way those arrows are pointing sometimes because it's so round that like any of the points on it could be the point that it's pointing to. Alright, looks like that's all the beads, so let's just get on out of here. That was a fun little area. I love all these side areas. <laughs> so far I'm liking Dreamland, what can I say? I don't know if I've conveyed that emotion enough yet. If I've done it with enough gusto. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna smash through all these walls in one fatal blow. In one fell swoop, if you will. Oh, I've said that way too much, though. In the past. Alright, hello. Oh, those cats are so funny. I tell you. They remind me of... I should call those the Tim cats. I don't know. Whoa, shit! Oh my god, it, I, just, I just exploded it everywhere with the stars. Nope, don't. Don't you fall down here. Alright, I missed a few of the stars up there, but I still have gold, so I think I'll be fine. How am I going to do this? Is this a boss fight? Sort of. Uh, I guess that works. Oh my. Uh, what's in this way? I don't know. Maybe it's the end of the level. Who knows? Well, whatever it is, I'm not coming back from here, so that's... That's something. What, the tank again? But we just had this in Moon Bay. Oh, okay, well, not one to complain. I do love me my tank. Even though it kind of overshadows the green green music. The greeny greens, whatever it was called. Oh, that guy's got beads. I definitely want to kill him. Oh, hello. Those cat. Now they draw beads when I hit them with missiles. But what is that? Okay, these things are weird. That was like a monkey up there. That was like that same monkey that I saw. What? I'm so confused. <laughs> There's just too much happening on screen right now. Can anything more things possibly happen at once? Oh, well, I guess so. <laughs> I can get hit by a fat cat. By a Tim cat. By a time cat. What are, are these, like, apples? Am I coming up on a boss here? Wispy Woods, maybe? He's famous for throwing apples your way. But no, it's the monkeys again. These monkeys from Mega Man. And they're, they're gonna kill me if I'm not careful. <laughs> Kill my beads, anyways, dude. Why is it? Why do I always suck at getting hit? Or I guess I'm good. I'm really good at getting hit while I'm in the tank. That's the way you reward that, I suppose. And that's 13 minutes that I just passed right there. So 